Hey everyone, Gig Coach Jake here, back with more Gig Economy news, and today it's on Postmates. They introduced a new feature called Postmates Party. It is similar to Uber Pool and Lyft Line. Now, this is for group delivery. It's a free delivery service that they introduced in some major markets. Now, Phoenix is one of them. It just started. I have not talked to anybody that's done one yet, so I do not have any data information. What I do have is an article that just came out yesterday from The Verge. Let's go ahead and take a look at that and see what it has to say. Now, here's the article, like I said, from TheVerge.com, just posted yesterday, March 20th, by Jacob K. Now, I'm not going to try and pronounce that name. I don't want to butcher it. Anyhow, you see the title here? Postmates launches a free group delivery option. Now, it's similar to like what Uber has done and Lyft with Uber Pool and Lyft Line. So let's go ahead and read on in the article and see what it has to say. Postmates is launching a new delivery option that comes without its sometimes pricey service fees, essentially carpooling for your food. The new delivery option called Postmates Party, how clever, allows you to opt in to having your meal delivered as part of a group. The food will still be delivered to each person separately, but it will be sent out in a batch with the delivery person making multiple stops along the route. Now, this is something we do already, but there's not a really good system. Some of the apps and platforms let the customer know that the driver's on another delivery and are moving on. Grubhub's one that does not. I believe DoorDash and Uber Eats. Uber Eats for surely does, and I believe DoorDash as well. Anyhow, let me read on. It means your order could take slightly more time to arrive, but in exchange, Postmates drops its delivery fee which is sometimes too high to make ordering out worth it. Now, I know Postmates is one of the platforms that's had ridiculously high delivery fees sometimes. So, DoorDash, one of the ways that they're killing everybody else is with lower delivery fee options. They're actually doing a free delivery for 30 days right now in some of the markets. For now, Postmates is only launching its party service in major U.S. cities. Like I said, Phoenix is one of them. And it's not clear if it'll be available for all restaurants. Postmates lists Shake Shack, Blaze Pizza, and the Halal Guys as example of restaurants you'll be able to group order from. But for the restaurants available, it may be a good deal if you don't mind waiting. You won't always be able to join a party order, though. Postmates says party orders will be active at busy times when multiple people are ordering from the same restaurant. Once you join a party, you and everyone else ordering will have five minutes to check out, meaning you'll have five minutes to cancel and switch back. Maybe if you just want to do it by yourself, you don't want to be a part of the party or cancel altogether. Group rides were added to ride hailing services like Uber and Lyft years ago. They're more efficient overall and they're a good way to save some money as a customer. For meal delivery, this kind of approach makes even more sense. Restaurants already tend to send their delivery person out with multiple orders at a time. If Postmates can translate into free delivery, that's even better for customers. Now Postmates, it really makes sense because they're the one that already pays you less for a batch order anyhow. So as a driver, you kind of do want more deliveries at once, again, like they said, to be more efficient. Just think if you get four or five deliveries that are all in kind of in a row that makes sense, you could kill it. You could really make some good money, especially working those peak times. Again, like I said, it's limiting, it's participating in risk restaurants. And there's just a few. And I'm sure there'll be some more to add on. And it's only in major cities right now. So there's more to come on this, and we'll see what happens when I get more data. Anyhow, great idea. This is Postmates' attempt to try and increase their market share, right? They're one of the bottom. They're just they're stagnating. But look at this party, right? They're the ones that are 420 friendly and everything else. Now, Postmates has a leg up on everybody else because they deliver more than just food. They can get alcohol. Yes, DoorDash does that as well. I know sex shops. I've heard I know drivers that have delivered uh, vibrators, dildos. I've had orders for, I had one for 200 whippets one of my first weeks doing Postmates. So they have an opportunity here. This is a pretty cool thing. This is good for drivers and customers and really good if they can deliver those below those fees. Postmates actually has a chance to compete against DoorDash right now. Because like I said, DoorDash is killing everybody else by having just lower fees. And this is great news for all of us, right? As gig workers, we want all these platforms competing against one another. We do not want one dominating and having a really strong hold on the market. So, for all of us, this is a great thing for a couple of reasons. One, we can be more efficient. Just think if you're going for some of those promos and maybe you're in a bonus period and you have to hit, what, nine deliveries in three hours to get, you know, 80 or $90. This will make it a lot easier, right? 
Anyhow, competition's good. I hope you all like this video. If anything, it was entertaining at the very least. Now, have fun. Be safe out there on the roads. A lot of crazy drivers. And as always, work hard, but work smarter.